Hi everyone. Um, uh, I haven't uploaded in a very long time, and um, I, I've been on vacation. But my vacation officially ends uh, in two days, and classes at uh, CSUN officially starts today. But I don't have any Saturday classes, so I finally got these in the mail. I bought these before Christmas, so uh, around December something, twenty seventeen, um, kind of mid December. Uh, and they were on sale for $3, so the Relay module itself, including ESPs. Now, there were only three left in stock, and I bought three, and it turns out the next day they restocked it up to 10. Now, uh, I always have a few problems uh, programming these things, um, but I, I did get it to work, and it was because I was stupid, and I accidentally put the chip enable pin to, uh, to ground instead of a uh, plus 3.3 volts. Uh, but that was my bad, so I, I flashed it and I used um, ESP Fox by uh, Becky Stern, and I, I changed some of the pins. Now, on these boards, okay, so the ad description, let me get through this. So it was phone app for ESP8266, 5 volts, Wi-Fi relay. So by 5 volts, they mean that the relay itself is 5 volts. Um, now, my board clearly looks nothing like that. As you can see, the power supply section is different. This one just uses a, a plain ASM1333, uh, 3.3 uh, 3 volt um, linear regulator. Uh, and then you can see it's five volts and the relay is five volts. So yeah, they didn't skimp out on the parts on these. Um, when I bought this one a long time ago, back when the whole ESP thing was like crazy, um, this one actually has fewer parts than that one. So, uh, you know, I guess it's okay. And you know, for three bucks a piece, it took a long ass time for them to arrive, a month basically. So I, I checked the chips and the chips themselves I knew were going to be the hardest part to make sure that they actually work properly. And they do, luckily. I just was stupid with how I programmed it. Boards themselves are not good. Well, they're, they're good, but they're, you know, they're not ideal. This is the reset button. And then it has your five volts ground and then the the board layout itself for the presumably what most people would use it for is high voltage or you know um i wouldn't recommend it for that but you certainly can i mean the clearance is enough but it's not amazing like right there you know that's not amazing um but you know in a place where you won't really touch it that's not so bad what's really bad is that the chip enable you know, the CHPD pin, which is the this, I need something else. Um, this pin right here, the top third, or second from the right, um, it's not connected to anything, it's left floating. And on the board itself, they didn't put, on the, uh, the little ESP daughter board, they didn't put like a, a pull up resistor or anything, it's just left floating. So what you have to do, is actually at a jumper link. I also had to resolder a lot of these, um, which it's still not great. I'm using some old flux and it's not it's not amazing. Um, but yeah, you have to jumper the CH pin to the 3.3 volt rail. And then, aside from that, they actually use, right here, pin zero. So this pin right here, with so right here we have the reset pin so here's your five or 3.3 volts, and here's your reset pin, which goes through the reset button. That's fine. The chip has an internal um, pull-up resistor, and it just shorts it to ground with the button. Um, but they use pin zero right here as the relay driving pin. And for anyone who has used the ESP, the pin zero is actually really important. Uh, in other projects, I typically don't use it. Um, so right here, you need pin. You actually can ignore io2 but zero is important because you need to ground it to enter programming mode which is uart bootloader and you need to pull it up to 3.3 volts or leave it floating to just run like normal to use the uh the built-in flash memory now that's all good like you can use gpio zero for you know regular io things if you don't have enough pins on the on these esp01 modules they they handle it incorrectly like it's okay that they use it for the relay but it's a little poor um because right here uh, on the bottom side you had a via that goes to the top and it actually goes right here to this um 
10K resistor, which is a 103, it's upside down. And then there's a 202 resistor, so 202, 2K. Uh, and then it goes into this MOSFET or transistor. It's labeled 7002. No, that's a better angle. And then on the other end of this 10K resistor, it's actually pulled down to ground. To fix it, you need to remove that resistor and you need to add the CH pin. And then in your code, um, you need to set your relay as a uh, pin zero. And that's it, it should work perfectly. Um, I can even test it. Luckily, I have it plugged into a battery bank. Let us go downstairs. Alexa, turn on relay one. Okay. Yeah, it turned on. Alexa, turn off relay one. Thanks for watching. That's how you fix this board. Uh, have a good day. These boards are nice and cheap. You should get some if you're really interested in this kind of stuff. Bye.